Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to cover developmental milestones for kids ages two months to five years. When I was studying for the MPCOT, I found developmental milestones quite tricky because I felt like I hadn't been around kids who are that young and I didn't really know what they should be doing at what age. And even now when I'm practicing, sometimes I don't know exactly what age to expect what, so I made myself a cheat sheet and wanted to review it all with you guys. I honestly think the best way to learn developmental milestones is to just spend time with children, and not all of us have access to them, so hopefully this will help you guys study and review. Let's start off with two months. There isn't too much going on at this age, so that makes it easier for us. At two months of age, children are cooing, they turn their head to sounds, and they also hold their head up when they're in tummy time, and they follow things with their eyes. So I feel like the main takeaway is that they are really starting to attend with their eyes and turn their head towards the direction of something important. So my little rhyme for this one is that children at two months, coos at two who's at two months. At four months of age, babies are starting to develop more with their speech, so they're babbling, they're copying sounds that they hear, and they're also starting to use their hands more to reach for toys, to shake toys like rattles, and they'll hold up their head steadily at this age as well. At this point for tummy time, they are able to push themselves up with their elbows. So elbows on floors at four months. At six months of age, children are starting to take turns making sounds and stringing vowels together when they're babbling for sounds such as a, ah, e, eh, and o. Oh. One of the kids that I work with right now is six months as well, and this is the perfect description of a six-month-year-old, a six-month-year-old, a six-month-old. He is really exploring the environment with his mouth, so he's bringing his hands to his mouth, toys are all going to the mouth, he is starting to sit up without support on his own, and he's really starting to kind of almost want to creep. So he's rolling to both sides, front to back, back to front. And if you hold him up on his, you know, his feet, he will start to kind of stand with those legs supported. So my rhyme for this age is starts to sit at six months, starts to sit at six. Nine months sounds very intuitive to me after reading what happens at six months. The language is starting to progress and kids are starting to say things like ma 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 ba ba ba. They are pointing to things, playing peekaboo, and one of the biggest fine motor developmental milestone is that they have a pincer grasp, which is why I drew this little hand holding the number nine ball for nine months. After our review of where a six month old should be, nine months makes perfect sense. So at nine months of age, kids are starting to sit without support entirely. They are starting to crawl and they are able to stand while holding on to something like a chair or furniture. And this is what would lead to furniture cruising. So at nine months, Kids sit on their hiney at 90. Yay, we've made it to one year, and one year comes with a lot of great achievements. So kids at one year are more attached to their parents, so they might have a stronger sense of stranger danger. They are able to shake their head to indicate no and wave bye. They can also say words like mama and dada and they'll start to try to say words that you are saying and they're also copying gestures so there's a lot of copying going on and learning through example they enjoy banging throwing and shaking things at this age 
and they are able to follow very simple directions. And just like we said at nine months, since kids were standing using furniture at that age, now at one year, kids are cruising furniture and taking their first few steps. To remember stranger danger, my quote for this one is, parents, please stay near at one year. At the age of one and a half years or 18 months, kids start to become more independent and also more involved in their activities of daily living or self-care. They start to engage in pretend play, such as feeding the doll or stuffed animal. They are able to say several single words and they will point for what they want or things of interest. They start to scribble, they are able to walk alone, and they will start to help undress. They're also good with a cup and spoons at this age as well. Since kids at one and a half are starting to really become more independent and learn so many new skills, the quote I thought of for this one is, walking my own path at one and a half. We are at two-year-olds now, and I absolutely love two-year-olds. A few of my kids are this age. They get excited to see me. They remember me. They want to play with other kids, so they're trying to connect with their siblings if they have any, but they also have their terrible twos, as people would say. So they become more independent at this age, and you may see more defiant behavior. So a few of my kids at this age are hitting or trying to play with toys their way and get frustrated when I try to kind of navigate the play. They can speak two to four word sentences at this age and they are pointing and naming pictures like cat, dog. They're sorting colors and shapes. They're able to stack four blocks. And as for their gross motor skills, they are able to kick a ball forward at this age as well as walk up and down the stairs holding on, so they still need rail support. At three years of age, kids are building on the same skills as two, but becoming more independent and you start to see more activities of daily living kicking in because their fine motor skills have improved quite a bit by this age. So in terms of play, they are engaging in turn-taking games as well as imaginary play. They are able to express concern and show affection. They are dressing and undressing independently at this point and they can speak in two to three sentence conversations, which is pretty exciting. That means that they are using I, me, and we statements. This is something one of my three-year-olds just mastered, so that's very exciting. She used to not use I sentences, so it would be just kind of random words thrown together or pointing, but uh, her speech has picked up quite a bit and now she's starting to say, I am mad, I want Play-Doh, which is awesome. At this age, kids are able to manipulate three to four piece puzzles, levers, buttons, and screws, which makes sense because they are starting to dress and undress independently. By three years of age, they are also able to stack six blocks in a tower. So at two, it was three blocks, and at three, it is six blocks. So at three, you just double the age to the amount of six blocks. There's a lot going on at age three, so this is a continuation. At three, kids learn how to ride a tricycle, so that's easy to remember because three and tricycle, three and tri both mean three, so age three, tricycle. And their gross motor skills have improved quite a bit. They're running and climbing well at this point, so jungle gyms, playgrounds are very exciting for them. But because of that, they're also able to alternate their feet to walk up and down the stairs. They no longer need the handrail, and they no longer need to put one foot down and have the other foot follow, but they can switch off pretty nicely. My rhyme for this one is take turns with me at three, since kids are turn-taking at this age. 
So four-year-olds are a lot of fun. At this age, they are starting to talk about their interests and their play skills have developed quite a bit. So they'll play house and they'll play make-believe play. And I think that ability ties really well with their ability to tell stories and know songs by memory. So at this point, they're more creative and able to recall stories. And I think that ties in really well with being able to do make-believe play because they're building off of things that they have learned and seen. They are also working on colors, numbers, counting, and they are drawing people and body parts, two to four body parts at this age. From a gross motor standpoint, they can stand on one foot for two seconds and they can catch a bounced ball. So I have two rhymes for this age. I have one that's make believe more at four and counting numbers, colors more, I can do so much at four, which sounds very Dr. Seuss. We have finally made it to the last one, which is year five, and five-year-olds want friends and want to be like their friends. They want to fit in. They are able to tell simple stories and full sentences and also count to the number 10. They are drawing people with six or more body parts, so you can think of it as they can draw at least one body part per year that they have, so six body parts and more. Uh, they're copying shapes and they're printing some letters and numbers as well, and that's the perfect age since that's like that kindergarten window. Um, they are able to hop and stand on one foot for over 10 seconds now, so coordination has improved greatly, and they are able to use a fork and spoon. So my last rhyme for year five is making stories come alive at five. So that concludes my video. I hope these developmental milestones were helpful to review. I will see you guys in the next video, and best of luck!